Hi, welcome to the LGBTQ Review with me, James, and this is Beth. This week we're going to look at everything in between. 60 second recap! Rosa is a mixed Asian struggling fashion designer in LA, right? And it's like the late 90s. And she has a best friend called Michael and she's scared of love because her mother abandoned her as a small child. So she just has a series of dead end relationships. She's planning to move to New York. She has an uncle. He's called Otto, Uncle Otto. She confronts him about being her father and she kisses Michael and everything gets really confused. And then they're like, hmm, but probably no though. And she goes to New York and lives happily ever after. So, everything in between, James, what do you think? I didn't look at what year it was made in. Right. Uh, before watching it. And I thought it was like from the 70s or 80s. And I really? Thought, yeah. I thought 90s. The size of cast, it's like 4 3. Is that what it's called? No, I don't know. It's like not 69, so I thought, ah, oh, it's going to be really old. And then I found out it was made in like 2000, and it really threw me. Just 2000, not even a simile. Mm. But yeah, I liked it. It was like, I don't know, it just wasn't much of anything. Yeah, it was alright, wasn't it? The first thing I noticed, or put, was Jeff Enters, really bad sound quality. Who's Jeff? Oh yeah, Jeff, I remember yeah. that. The kind of sound quality you would expect in like a porno, where it's like, kind of dubbed badly, and it's like funny. That's why I thought it was like really old. I like your writing, by the way, it's really like a, a diary. Mm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, I wanted to talk about the director. She was hailed for having an astute view of LA, which we can't comment on. Yeah, it seemed okay. That, that apartment and that club seemed alright. I imagine they're talking more about like uh, the racial tension with the police and the things that happen on the streets. Yeah. Probably, yeah. It won the Student Film Award at the Directors Guild of America, which is really good. But, but I, do, I, do, I don't. Was it a student film? What passes for a student film there has to be like a certain amount of crew that are students or like w at least one who's a student. This is like on Amazon Prime where we watched it. In like the description they just say of oh, Rosa, mixed Asian descent. I didn't spot it in the film, did they actually say anything more than that? No. No. But her mum abandoned her, didn't she? So I guess yeah. there's Quite. question marks hanging yeah. over that anyway. The, the woman that plays Rosa is Sierra? No. Google her name to see like the most 80s slash 90s swimsuit shots you've ever seen in your life. And not like, not, don't like Google her to see sexy pictures. They're not sexy. But I mean they're not not sexy. Ah, oh, I'm digging myself a hole here. You know when Free Willy was like, we got to keep the dads interested and got all the mm -hmm. female trainers in swimsuits? <laughs> <laughs> So this film was distributed by Frameline, which is uh, an American organisation. Since 1990 it's helped 143 films be made um, and has funded some of them, produced others, distributed others, generally been good. Yeah, it's good. Frameline. Well, well done, Frameline. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we've been James and Beth and this has been the LGBTQ review where we looked at everything in between, which was alright, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, Shall we rate it? Yeah! 2.4 buckets of... Gel for the 90s haircuts. They're all gelled, very right gelled. Huh? And I'll give it 2.5 pink wigs. Pink wigs. Pink wigs. Oh, that was a good pink wig. Oh, so thanks for watching <laughs> this episode of the LGBTQ review. Um, give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to see more of these, probably if we get like more batteries for yeah. some cameras or something. Who knows? Goodbye! <laughs>